What's up everybody? Back with Smoke Master Smooth. Got a new roaster, a uh, high speed roaster. Uh, it's snowing here in Colorado, so I was kind of shut down outside. So what we're gonna do today is I'm going to make a brine, of course, one of my favorites, and then I'm going to put it in the new roaster and see how it turns out. Uh, we did a chicken the other day just for trial and error, and I'm gonna do a turkey, and then that way we're ready for Thanksgiving and make sure we're good to go. So come over here, let me show you what we got. So what I did was I did a, I did a cup of kosher salt. I did a tablespoon of ground nutmeg. I did a tablespoon of ground cloves. I also did a tablespoon of garlic powder. And then I did about a half tablespoon, almost a whole of this uh, herbs and spices. It smelled pretty good, so. And then I love using cinnamon sticks. So I'm gonna break this in threes, put this in here. You guys can check that out before I... And what we'll do is we'll boil this. On the stove. Once we bring it to a good boil, I'll let it sit for a while. And then... I will dump it into this new brine barrel I'm going to show you that we found. You can get them at Lowe's. I'm sure you can get them online. But fire and flavor. What's really cool about this is that this is collapsible. Okay? So you can go to any size you want. There's a three quart for some smaller chickens. And then it's got the five gallon. It's really, really sweet. And then here has the reinforced ring. You take that out when you clean it. You collapse it, put it in a, and back in the dishwasher, and uh, you're good to go. So, I'm gonna boil this. I'll let it sit, and then we'll put it in the barrel. But don't forget, when you do your turkeys, which I'm sure everybody knows, this here is a butterball. This came with a gravy packet. We're gonna make our own gravy. So I won't be using this, I'll make it from the juices. Um, and then don't forget to get out all the all the stuff here in the other end. Make sure that the cavity is empty on both ends. All right, I've already washed it down. We're gonna soak this in a brine all day today. Roast this puppy tomorrow and uh, see how she turns out. So sit tight, I'll let you know. All right, we're back. Got the roaster out and put everything together and uh, get this turkey up in there so everything worked good with this with the brine Just sit in there about to wash it all let's do a quick rinse on it and I'll pat it down. Something I like, uh, I'm gonna do different on this than I did the chicken, is I'm gonna season it as well. Just throw a little, uh, little of the wife's favorite seasoning on there. So we're going to use the Backyard Daddy Rub, which is, I told you guys, you know, several flavors. This is the Hawaiian. Uh, it's really good on chicken and turkey. So as you see, the skin's already pulling away. So all I'm going to do is pull it away just a little more. I have to get my hands up in there. season this I know a lot of people do it on the outside I do both if you've seen videos before you'll know that I put it on the on the meat itself besides just the besides just the skin work that in there let that sit same with the legs much as I can get on them 
Don't want to pull the skin all the way off, but I do want to get this good stuff on the inside and outside. I'm going to put it on all around. Over. Try this out. See how this roaster works. It's a Nesco roaster. It cooks about eight pounds a minute. So instead of sitting over my smoker for 12 hours, I'm hoping this works it. Come Thanksgiving when we do a 20 pounder in a few hours. So Here goes. Tuck them legs in. Put her in. Alright folks, we're back. I want to correct earlier, I said that it's uh, 8 pounds a minute or something silly. It's actually a pound every 8 minutes. Otherwise a turkey would have been done in 5 minutes. So anyway, everything is ready to go. We're going to pull her out, check it out, and see what she looks like. By the way, don't stick your face over that. Old Smoke Master Smooth did that earlier. Wasn't pretty. Look at her. I've had it, I have it rusting inside there. Turn it off earlier and see if you can get in there and see all those juices in there. What's nice about that is you can pull this out later and you can make uh, make your gravy or whatever else you need to with that. So I'm gonna let this thing, uh, let's see here. It's pretty. It's already falling off the bone just sitting in there. That leg is stuck in there. All right, got that leg uh, unstuck. I have to burn myself. This 
better no longer lady. Now is the real test, folks. I'm gonna cut right in here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Let's turn it so you guys get a better look at that. Look at all those juices. Now you gotta have to do what's right, right? I'm gonna do this taste test and let you know. The skin looks burnt, but it's actually soft. And definitely taste that Hawaiian. Oh, yeah. I think we're ready for the. I think we're ready for the big bird. Thanksgiving. Well, guys, it's a short show. That's what I got for you. Like I said before, it's cold outside, so I wanted to try something new for everybody. Make sure you're with family this Thanksgiving. Make sure you love on one another. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Love everybody out there, man. Have a great night.